What it's gonna do is gonna give you, um, it's, it's not gonna work down there. It's not gonna work as well. <laughs> What's up guys, Don back from the Liso Fit and today we have another one. We are continuing our steroid series. Today we have NPP Nandrolone Phenylpropionate. Let's dive right into it. Now, like always in these videos, I will be offering free steroid cycle advice when it comes to dosages and ciliaries that you should be using, how to do it safely, and how to maximize that growth potential without adverse side effects. All you need to do is like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and I want you to follow me on Instagram. I'm gonna leave my Instagram right here. Follow me right there. And then DM me on Instagram. There will be answering your questions. And after you've done all that, We'll plan something out for you so you don't, you don't die. MPP, I've heard some gym guys call it fast acting DECA, but really what it is, is it's the nandrolone is the steroid, okay? People get confused a lot of the time. DECA durabolin, decanoate is actually the ester and nandrolone is the steroid. Same thing here, except the only difference is nandrolone is still the steroid, but propionate is the ester, which means you have a fast acting ester. Okay, now the ester is what branches and chains itself to the steroid and changes the release time of it. So if you have something like decadurabolin with the decanoate ester, it releases slower into your system which means that you will have to inject less to have stable blood levels, but it'll also hit you slower as well. This is why people say DECA takes about eight weeks to hit. Now, NPP, which is still the exact same steroid but with a different ester, hits you significantly quicker. The half-life is 48 hours, which means it half of it is in and out of your body in 48 hours. This one, you can actually do shorter steroid cycles. You do have to inject every other day at a minimum. At a minimum, every other day, you should be injecting this, but it's gonna hit you a lot quicker. So with DECA, where you know some people will say about eight weeks it's gonna hit you, with MPP, two, three weeks is when you're gonna really start seeing the gains and all that jazz from there. Now, the anabolic androgenic ratio of this is 36 androgenic, 125 anabolic. Now, what this is based off is off of the steroid testosterone, which is 100 and 100. Now, when it comes to anabolism, what is that? That is the muscle building features of the steroid. And androgenic is the male characteristic side effects. Now, it is a low androgenicity. I don't know, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, but that does not mean that women should use this drug. Do not use NPP if you are a woman, unless you'd like to turn into a man, which if you wanna do that, then I'm cool with it. But other than that, only for guys. So with the side effects of it, this is typically what's considered a bulking steroid. You are not going to pack on a lot of strength with this one, but you are going to pack on a lot of size. Now, NPP is still estrogenic, so you wanna be careful because it will turn into estrogen, although it is lower than testosterone, what you really wanna be careful of, it is very progenistic, just like trenbolone, okay? And we'll get into trenbolone later on. Progenistic, what it's gonna do is gonna give you, um, it's, it's not gonna work down there. It's not gonna work as well. I mean, it doesn't affect everyone the same, but, Prolactin really starts to build up, and when prolactin builds up, you know, you can get those side effects. Yeah, so just be very careful with this one because it might not be working. When it comes to accelerated male pattern baldness, it isn't the worst for it, but it can still happen. Uh, but I haven't really seen it with MPP or DECA. Uh, acne body hair growth in men, uh, viralization in women, and clitoral enlargement as well. These are all things that you should be careful of, but it is very low androgenic, which is the male characteristics and side effects. Like I said, it is 36, so not too much of a problem. But what I see the most is really just blowing up like a balloon, high blood pressure, um, lower LDL, which is 
the sorry higher LDL, which is the bad cholesterol, and lower HDL, which is the good cholesterol, which could put you at cardiovascular risk. You got to be careful there as well. Now, because it is an injectable steroid, it is not liver toxic, which is good. So that means it's not bypassed through the liver. So you can run this for a longer time. I would suggest around eight, maybe 12 weeks, you should still be safe there. When it comes to the dosages of NPP, I think the sweet spot is anywhere between 350 to 500 milligrams if you're a lot more advanced, and that's for a week. Uh, but I think 350 is much more the sweet spot where you're gonna get less of those, you know, side effects and still really get that anabolic effect that you're looking for when it comes to taking steroids. And that is MPP in a nutshell. So guys, please like, share, subscribe. If you wanna see more of this content, comment down below. But until next time, I am out of here.